All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, our glory, our honors unto Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Kakodash, double honors to the apostles, and others of great millstone. Peace and blessings to the whole for elect. This will be another update on the coming uh, M-A-R-K of the beast, uh, the Karagma, which is the digital implant device according to biblical prophecy. Um, what I have here is an article from biometricupdate.com, which says digital ID blueprint for all 50 U.S. states published. No big asks. Right. And uh, a few brothers have done videos on this topic in this article. And pretty much, you know, everything is, is as we've been saying, going digital. Uh, things are shifting when it comes down to how we interact and move in the world, especially since 2020. Uh, how communities and countries and international trade is done. Um, how governments move. And on down to how the citizens move. All right. Things are changing into biometrics and digital exchange. Okay. I'm going to get into it now. It says a crowd of major corporations doing business in the United States is encouraging state governments to enact six policies considered by industry insiders vital to establishing a national secure digital ID regime. Okay. So pretty much these countries are vying for a, a, a national digital ID. Okay. Not the conventional way of identification, not the current way of identification, but a national digital ID regime. So this is something that is ongoing as a rulership, all right, a regime. It says the Better Identity Coalition, 27 companies based in the U.S., among them AT&T, Equifax, Ubico, and MasterCard, and elsewhere on Fido and Idemia, either want to stop worrying about ID fraud or want to profit from preventing it, right? Um, AT&T, which is a communi uh, communications company. Uh, Equifax is a, is a credit reporting company. You have Ubico and, and, and MasterCard, which has to deal with um, credit exchange, all right? You know, buying and selling. Okay, so all these things are coming, all these companies are coming together to form this one national ID, and it's going to be digital. So we can see how things are merging together, okay? This is the coalition's second ambitious outing. In 2018, the year it formed, the group issued a related blueprint for the federal government where progress has been negligible. There is hope that more can be accomplished working with state legislators. Legislatures. The coalition is a project within the nonprofit Center for Cybersecurity Policy and Law. Uh, first, members of the coalition are encouraging states to make their motor vehicle licensing agencies the core of building and their main and then maintaining systems that interoperate with other state agencies and governments beyond their own borders. So they basically want to wear one license for the whole country. Okay. Instead of having your state license here, which, of course, you're, you're more than likely registered in one state, but they wanted it across the board, all these different agencies across the, 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 the country in these different states to be able to have access to this information. Okay? These agencies, for the most part, are already central to each, to each state's identification process. That's right. They want to centralize everything. It says moderating learning curves. Vital records bureaus should be updated according to coalition members having them create attribute validation services. Vital records include birth, marriage, and death databases. Third, state officials have to overcome, have to overcome fear, uncertainty, and doubt of ID innovations that can get the most residents in digital ID programs like mobile driver's licenses. Yeah, I uh, believe in Australia they have a mobile driver's license you can pretty much pull it up you know your license you know digitally okay instead of carrying it around right if i'm correct 
Now it says policymakers should also make sure digital ID services meet industry and government standards. Uh, so it's it's going through the list of 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 of, of um, key things that this national ID digital database you know how it's going to link together. Okay. Uh, and all this is leading up to that one mark, that one karagma, where all your information is going to be in one device to, to, um, to pretty much be a one-stop shop for anything that how the government wants to identify you. Okay? So this is the infrastructure that's leading up to... The digital all the karagma, what we've been prophesying about, um, according to the scriptures. Okay, well, let's go to Revelation 13 13 and 16. And he causes all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads. So, the, 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 the people. Here in America, right, Babylon the Great and around the world are going to be caused to integrate and change into this new system to where, where they know, and um, no matter your status, you know, rich or poor, whatever, old and young, you're going to have to have this digital ID, which is secured which is issued by the government uh, and eventually is going to be a device implanted inside of you. I mean, the technology is already there. These other Israelite groups can deny it all they want to. Whether they juiced in and, and, and you know, or not, it's, 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 it's here. Okay? Excuse me. All right? It's here. It's just a matter of time before the shift actually goes live and take and takes place okay uh, verse 17 and that no man might buy or sell save he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name so you won't be able to move in the system unless that this this um system and this digital id blueprint this um this this national id system uh, national secure digital ID um, is established and you're taking part in it, okay? That's how you're going to be able to buy and sell and live and interact in the world in the coming future, okay? Um, let's see here. All right? Now, this is dealing with Digital payments from fintech.global. It says Universal Digital Payments Network unveiled at Davos. And this is what's going on now. You know, this Davos meeting. Uh, it says a, a, a Universal Digital Payments Network for stable coins and CBDCs has been launched at the World Economic Forum in Davos. Okay? Or the World, the World Economic Forum, excuse me. All right, so the, this shift is is happening, okay? Have an ID system where they can have MasterCard and Equifax or credit, all your medical records, birth certificate, everything is established. And then how you're going to actually buy, like what's going to be the new system for buying and selling the currency, a universal digital payments network. That is being put on the books, Okay. I'm going to read this here. It says, according to Fin Extra, the network unveiled at Davos aims to provide interoperability. There's that word again. Interoperability between these digital currencies. Right? I believe this is the same word too. All right? Interoperable. Okay? Right. See? See? interoperate so they want this national id digital id system 
this digital national ID system to interoperate with other states in this country. And then they want this, this new digital currency system to have interoperability between different digital currencies around the world. Okay, so this is, you know, the, the, the infrastructure is set. It's just about putting the, the karagment in the people at this point. It says the publication noted that UDPN has been in development, all right, with UDPN, Universal Digital Payments Network. It says it has been in development for the last two years. Yeah, since the, since the, um, since 2020, you know, the event in 2020. That's what that event was a setup for, okay? It says with contributions from GFT, Red Date Technology, Toco and DLA Piper, a sandbox was launched in July 2022, which is pretty much where you can play around and move, and it's for developers, okay? So they you have when these uh, developers actually test these things out. It says where multiple banks tested stable coin transfer and foreign exchange transactions, okay? Um. This is a short article. Um, let, let's see here. Where it says, The UDPN reports that several Tier 1 banks who participate in a series of POC use cases um, throughout the rest of this month to dis- demonstrate how UDPN could be used to solve current and future challenges in integrating digital currency in a daily business, banking, and payment scenario. So they're... They're testing this thing out, you know. It's going live and and and, and being tested, and soon it's going to go public. The first two of these proof of concepts will involve two global banks testing UDPN's digital currency, cross-border transfer, and swap transaction capabilities. This is why the prophecy says this here about no man might be able to buy a sale because you're going to have to be linked into the system, okay? It's going to have to interoperate between your digital currency in this country and a digital currency in another country, which we have other countries like Japan, China, India already testing out and using digital currencies within their own um, um, scope of use, you know? Let's see here. Now, now I'm finish this out. It says... Uh, it says and how the critical travel w- rule can be easily implemented on the UDPN between two financial institutions for anonymous stable coin transfers. GFT CEO Marika Lule said the purpose of UDPN is to investigate a potential alternative to existing payment systems. Why do they need an alternative to the existing payment system? Because they're going to crash the U.S. dollar in the currency, and they're going to change everything to a new currency where the elites have control. The elites of Esau want control. Okay? It says, by enabling, once it gives that word again, interoperability between fiat-backed tokens, such as the U.S. dollar, of stable coins, and regulated protocols. The decentralized approach and geographic breadth of participating firms combined with the advanced te- technological solution deployed for these trials set this network apart. Right? They decentralize it and then they're going to centralize it. Um, it says Ocredo, an open data platform that merges open data Open banking and credit bureau functionality functionalities has entered the UK market, which the UK is a part of the beast. Okay, so this is what they're doing. This is what they're talking about in these meetings, man. How are we going to get the Karagma out there to the world? Let's put things in place now. Okay, so things are really moving uh, coming into uh, 2023, the hopeful year of all the prophecies being fulfilled, you know, but with that, you know, let me say, man, you know, when this device actually comes and they, you know, I'll put it inside your body, man, don't take it, okay, because there will be a judgment from your how about me, I was shy, 
right, you will be destroyed. So with that, all praises go to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Rakakwadash, double honors to the apostles and others of Great Millstone, of the Zedifying, Shalom.